Hello class. So now we are on uh, chapter 8. It's about web enabled enterprise. Okay, this is about, uh, you know, um, so um, it's like uh, your company, we will put it on the web. That, 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 that's what it means. Okay, how can we put our organization on the web? And these are the objectives. Now we, uh, I think week six, or uh, you know, we we talk about the internet. Okay, we, we describe how the web and high-speed internet connections and mobile technologies have changed business operations. Okay, explain the functionality of various web technologies. We have different kinds of web technologies. Compare and contrast options for the web servers. Explain business to business and business to consumer practices on the web. So these are the business will buy from business and a consumer will buy from the business or, or get the services from the business. Explain the relationship between web technologies and the supply chain. So we have five objectives here. And then we have uh, three more objectives, give, give examples of features and services that successful business website offers. Explain how business use social media as a part of their web strategies. Learn about online annoyances like spam, hardware, hardware like, you know, you always read spam calls and how to protect against online identity theft. Okay, this is very important right now. Identity theft, okay. So here is an example of um, uh, growing and changing. Ford Motor Company is a world leader in automobile manufacturers, manufacturing. It employs uh, 176,000 people and 80 plants around the world. So now um, uh, their target are younger tech savvy audience in its social media marketing of uh, Ford Fiesta in 2010. And then uh, with social media, you know, you, you know, if you aren't using it, you're, you're, you're losing. Okay, so this is the uh, example of a, um, of a company that uh, is using the web. Now, what are the um, several standards and technologies enabled? Web rich information, we have HTTPL, file transfer, blogs, wiki, broadcasting, cookies, so these are some of the technologies yeah, used in uh, in the web. Okay, that we are talking about the uh, protocols. Okay, uh, what are the well, what's a protocol? It's a way to communicate between uh, two computers or with the internet. First of all, we have the uh, hypertext hypertext transfer protocol, and uh, we have the uh, hypertext uh, transfer protocol that is secured and then we have the uniform resource the URL the unique address given to its website and then you have the domain name the name uh, that you want to give your website like uh, target.com and then you have the top level domains which is like .com .edu .gov okay these are all um, the uh, top level domain names. Now here you have the languages used to make the web pages. You have HTML and the XML. 
Okay, the hypertext markup language is the is a useful one that we use, and then we have the extended extensible markup language, and we have the x the x the combination of um, H, HTML and the XML is called H X H T M L. Use uses the opening and closing of the tags. And then you have the newest version, the HTML5. So this is uh, a, a kind of uh, exp explaining these uh, languages. Now you have the uh, file transfer protocol to transfer the file from one computer to another or from the cloud to the internet. Okay, um, it's called file transfer protocol. So what does it do? It facilitates the downloads from website, trans can transfer any type of file, can place files on a server for a shared use, and also convenient for retrieving large files exceeding an email system and a size limit. Okay. Now we have blogs. Blogs are a contraction of web blog. Invite surfers to post opinions and art. So we have blogs and then some people have their own blogs. Focuses on the topic or set of topics. It focuses on one topic. And then you have to track back a tool that notifies bloggers when their posts have been mentioned elsewhere on the web. Blogs are often used by businesses. Importance of blogs to commercial organization is to find out the blog participants about an organization. And then you have the wikis. Uh, it came from uh, the, the, the Hawaiian word quick. Web application that enables users to add and edit contents of the web pages. Now, an example of this is that uh, you have the Wikipedia. Okay, uh, but sometimes you have to not to trust everything that you write on the, oh, not everything that you read on the Wikipedia. Some of them are not true. They're just made up. And then you have uh, podcasting. These are the available things on the, on the internet. Uh, podcast, publishing sound and video on the web for download, usually on subscription basis. Some users, you know, like uh, if you want to buy music, it's kind of a podcasting. Time, time shifted broadcast on the radio station programs for later using uh, audio tours in museum, lectures in distance learning courses. So these are example of podcasting. Now, uh, the, the, the very popular one are the Apple's iTunes products and services. You have a variety of contents. And then now you have the massive open online course, uh, new education delivery combining traditional course material with interactive forums for educators and students. Interactive technology. Uh, I, I am, yeah. Real-time email, chat rooms, communicate with groups like WeGo. These are examples, Skype. Okay, software application with expanded communication tools. Now, uh, here are other... Uh, AOL, once upon a time, Yahoo Messenger, MSN. Business uses include sales and support. And then now you have this cookie. Cookie is a small file that contain information about the website visitor stored in the visitor's computer. Now, what, what does it do? It records the server's ID, stores the server's preferences, provide convenient, uh, convenience to consumer because you don't have to do it again. You know, you don't have to download this. Uh, can can be temporary, single session, or permanent. Potential for intrusion into server's privacy. Okay. Uh, Clickstream tracking. And spyware traces the reports of online. Bad people. Okay. Now, here are some uh, proprietary technology, intellectual property of the developer not free for all users. Examples, local search engines, 
shopping cart applications, wish list, and and other things that uh, that you use to to buy things from the internet. Web enabled business. These are the uh, these are the kinds of uh, you have business to business, business selling to business, business selling to the consumer, and business selling to the government. So these are the three kinds of interactive parties on the internet. And sometimes it's the other way around, consumer, government to consumer, government to business, and consumer to consumer. Like, uh, you know, I think uh, eBay is consumer to consumer kind of relationship. These are the relationships uh, that are available in the internet. So uh, business to business, trading between business only, the relationship is between two businesses, and uh, they include the uh, advertising to search advertising, advertising placed on the search, and then you have banners, images placed on the web that link a company site selling the product. And then you have the impression, of course, when a page with a banner is downloaded. So these are other things about uh, business to business relationship. Uh, you you have internet which is only for employees, and then you have the extranet, okay, shared by uh, different organizations. So here are more ideas about uh, business to business trading, okay. So this is uh, still uh, we're still on business to business, online business alliances. You know, sometimes uh, on the same industry, competitors collaborate to establish a website for one or several purposes. Okay. Creative buying. Sometimes the industry creates its own website also, and then it tells you the the list of companies under that uh, industry. Like the soda industry, you have Coke, Pepsi, and other uh, businesses selling uh, uh, drinks. Okay. Now, this is a business to consumer trading. So, business selling to the consumer trading, this is the relationship. You have a pure play, fulfillment activities, consumer profiling, okay. business selling, business selling to consumer, the final user. A consumer are the final users of the product. Now you see uh, the way um, the retail business uh, that went to the internet from 2002 to uh, the, the, uh, the latest one, it, it keeps on going. There are more and more companies selling to the consumer. So what are the benefits? Now the um, the buyer, the, the consumer, will be able to find out the product easily uh, from the internet. Like me, I, I I go to the internet first and and see if there are products there that I need instead of going to the store. Okay. So here are uh, more ideas about business to consumer. Okay. Um, that. Uh, that the businesses are in competition, so they, they, they try to make the best websites for their company. Okay. Now, there are some other uh, um, companies like Priceline that are comparing, uh, I think, hotels, okay, uh, that uh, are comparing hotels. So electronic bill presented and payment. Now, how do you pay them? You have a way to like PayPal and other websites that that you use to to pay your uh, what you buy from the internet. Okay, these are all part of uh, business to consumer. And then now uh, you have mobile commerce that uh, on mobile devices like uh, the smartphone. You can also buy from there. I always look at products from the smartphone or sometimes when I, I think of something I just I just go to the smartphone 
to my iPhone and uh, and and look for the product. So that's a that's a sample of a business to uh, consumer trading. Now, social media on the web has a, has a widespread influence on the consumer and business organization. These are some uh, popular uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Foursquare. Social media leverage additional advertising, brand and product exposure. Okay, now you have the supply chains on the web. You know, uh, so the supply chain management system may be connected to a web that allows suppliers to participate directly. Like uh, if you buy something from Walmart, automatically those those uh, manufacturers that are supplying to Walmart they know that you bought an item, and then when the when the stock of the item goes low, now the manufacturer will will deliver to Walmart right away. So Walmart will always have a product. It's very convenient for the supply chain on the web. Okay, this is this is the diagram for that. You can uh, browse up it. You can browse on it a little, and then uh, you will see the way um, the 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 supply chain does it. Option establishing a website. Why do you establish a website? What are, what's a website? Web pages that make up information and links the site a provider for web technology. And then you have the internet server that's a computer connected to the internet backbone. Okay. Now businesses choices for a website install and maintain their own website or they can also uh, contact a web hosting service and pay the rent. So owning and maintaining a website, uh, what are the uh, considerations or what? First of all, it's very expensive because you have to maintain people to do that. Okay, uh, provides the greatest degree of control, requires expertise to set up and maintain, must obtain high speed link to the web. And then you have the load balancing transfer of data requests from busy servers to the less busy server. So you have a, you have like different servers to that. Uh, and then you have a mirror servers duplicates the uh, uh, like three or four servers so that uh, there will be load balancing between these uh, servers here. I uh, now uh, the other way is uh, by using a hosting service, renting a uh, server, and web hosting, web server managing service. You have the shared hosting and then the virtual private server. So these are the two kinds of uh, uh, hosting services that, that you can rent if you don't want to buy your own equipments. So you have uh, types of web hosting dedicated the client can fully control the content on the rented dedicated server or co-location the server owned and managed by the client is co-located with other client server in a secured physical uh, location so what other considerations do you have compare host based on using a point system dynamic web pages and then the content management system for products building and maintaining websites. So you can also rent this uh, or acquire this uh, or buy or, or rent these skills from a web host. Okay. Now factors to consider when selecting a web host, scalability, security, physical and virtual, availability, minimize downtime, and set up the monthly piece. Now, how much, how much do you have to pay for that monthly? So here is like a checklist uh, that that uh, that you do to see if, um, um, what considerations do you need to to evaluate a um, a uh, a server that's for rent. Just like getting an apartment. 
more more than meets the eye. Okay. Several elements are essential to conducting business on the web. First of all, a inquiry interface connects with the database and allows the user to use a catalog of products and services. So these are the two things here that you have to that you have to check out. Okay. The order processing of the application and the order fulfillment system. How oh, yeah. Now, sometimes, like I bought something from the internet up to now, I, I, I didn't get it yet. It's And it's like taking a lot of time, you know, because uh, I didn't know that it will, it is right all the way from China that I bought. So here is the uh, diagram for that. Okay. You can look at it and and see how it works. The customer, the shipping, and then the customer is happy here. Uh, uh, you know, buying this product from the web. Okay. So rules for successful web-based business. Business success depends on availability and the use of proper software. So here are some for business to consumer, targeting the customer, capturing the customer complete experience. You know, you know uh, the experience of the customer has to be really like uh, that good. Personalizing the service, shortening the business cycle, letting the customer help themselves being proactive and preventing be just becoming a commodity. You target the right customer. So, hey, you know, I mean, uh, you cannot sell ice to people from Alaska because they will never buy that, okay? So you have to target the right customer who needs the product and services that, or the idea that you're trying to sell. Customer capture the customer total experience. Now using cookies, making it uh, easier for the customer to go back to that site. And then uh, using uh, software develop uh, for consumer profiles. Now, so you want to know the experience of the customer you know, in, uh, in the website. Okay. Sometimes you ask for reviews of the website. Personalize the service. Now, CRM software and web pages customization software can be combined to personalize the web page shown to a customer, allow the customer to select a type of email, respects people, privacy, and operating up in rather than up out, allow the customer to tailor product to be purchased. Uh, now, it shortens the business cycle. Customers like saving time by, by a web business. So, if, if it takes uh, a little longer for the customer to look for things on the web, it, the customer is not going to be happy with that. Okay. Let the customer help themselves. So, self-service. Now, it has to be very uh, intuitive. Okay, intuitive means, uh, you know, it's like, Reading a book, okay, uh, you know the chapters, and you know if you if you want to find an idea, okay, so uh, you don't have the, the customer doesn't have to call up your company all the time. It's proactive and decommoditize. Prompt email replies are expected. Proactive expected to the changes. Okay, automatic ordering features are desirable. Must take initiative to the customize the product. Commodity, a product that sold roughly the same price as many vendors. So, and then addition features that prevent the product from becoming a commodity to be, be, uh, before differentiation. You have to kind of differentiate the product. 
Now, e-commerce is bad. E-commerce is every commerce. Commerce means competition, okay, um, and also uh, selling a product. Now, selling the product to the use of the uh, internet, okay. So, web technologies have been highly integrated into the business world. Difficult to identify which business activities are on the internet and which are not. Okay. So summary uh, for this chapter about um, business on the internet. Some industries have changed drastically due to web technologies. They're now selling on the internet. They have more sales on the internet other than the uh, brick and mortar store. And then uh, the HTTP, HTTPS are the websites, uh, the, and then you have the URL. The XML is the language used, and the blogs enable people to create discussion uh, on the web pages. Cookies help website personalize the visitor's experience. Many web technologies are proprietary. Business can maintain its own web server or, or also rent a server you know and uh we just showed you the list a while ago of the things that you have to look for if you are going to um, rent a web hosting service organization should consider several factors when selecting a web host okay So you have business to business. Okay. You have mo mobile commerce now is uh, the use of uh, the use of um, the, the the smartphone. Okay. Online business must adhere to several factors to be successful. And then you have the spam and spyware are online annoyances. Phishing is pervasive. A, a proud phishing is like looking for your social security number or, or something else. 